Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be the last and final update to my fall project use it up. So this is going to be the November update. And just a reminder, we will be ending this project at the end of November and starting the winter project on December 1st. So I hope you guys are excited for that. I'm definitely excited to change some of these scents around. I'm getting a little sick of them, but I do have some progress to show you guys. I actually have one empty. It was kind of a sad month last month. I was pretty much sick the entire month of October. Um, so I was not feeling in the mood to use fragrances because it was just irritating me. I actually posted about it on my community tab. So if you haven't checked that out, I do post in there every so often, especially updates like that. Um, but yeah, I had a sinus infection most of October and since just triggered it. So I really couldn't use most of this stuff for most of the month besides like shower gels. So I have progress, but I don't really have a ton of empties. I'm really hoping that November I can kind of just go super hard and finish up what I have left or what I can finish up. So yeah, but let's go ahead and get into all of my progress. So the first thing I have to update you guys on is the Champagne Apple and Honey Mini Body Cream. I did finish this one off. I cut it open. If you don't know, um, any of these like tube products like a body cream, moisturizing shower gel, or a body scrub that are in a tube, you're definitely going to want to cut them open because you get a few more uses out of them when you do that. But I finished off this one. I really liked it. Just like a nice, simple fruity scent. So that is this one. And I have an update on my entire champagne, apple and honey little routine. So for this one, I've had in the shower gel and the lotion, and both of them are really, really close to finishing up. So I'm going to focus super hard on these two to get them finished for the month. So I've got the shower gel right here and progress on this one. I went from about halfway last month to down to here. So I've been making some good progress on it. I just really need to focus on it, get it finished up. I could definitely finish this in like a couple weeks. And then on the body lotion, if I finish, if I use this every day for the next week, I can finish it. So we are down to here. And last time I updated you, we were up here. So a little bit of progress, not too much actually, but I do love this scent and I'm just going to focus on it and finish it off. And then I have the little mini mist, which I got a little bit of progress on this one, just a tiny bit, not a ton. I wasn't really spraying a lot. And then I have the um, Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy Perfume. I have the tiniest bit in here, like five droplets left. So I'm just going to finish this one off too, hoping to finish this. And that should be three champagne, apple and honey things finished. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog Kai snoring. He is at my feet and he just really wanted to come cuddle up right here and snore. So I'm sorry if you hear him. But anyways, I've got the Tree Hut Apple Macchiato Shea Sugar Scrub. I'm, um, I guess you could say I'm a third of the way through on this one. Last time I updated you guys, I had only used it twice, but I've used it a little bit more. I'm not quite halfway, so that's why I say like I have two thirds left. I've used one third of it. I do like this one. It's honestly not my favorite and it's honestly not a fall scent. Um, it just smells like gummy bears or gummy worms or something. Yeah, it doesn't really smell very fall like, but I'm going to continue to use it as long as I've got the um, champagne, apple and honey shower gel. And then I might just retire this and save it for like springtime. I feel like this would be really nice to do like an apple blossom kind of routine. So yeah, I think I'm gonna use it as much as I can, but I'm not gonna be sad if I don't finish it off. Next one I have to update you guys on is my like morning coffee and pancakes kind of routine. So I've got Midnight Amber Glow, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, and Vanilla Mocha Cafe. First one that I've got a ton of progress on is the Midnight Amber Glow Body Cream. I'm pretty close to using this. But as you can see, I'm gonna show you inside of here. Sorry if this like triggers you, but there's so much left and I could not squeeze it out of the tube anymore. So yeah, definitely crack open these body creams because you're gonna get so much left. I probably have a week's worth of use left on this one. But last time I updated you guys, I think I put this in the project originally unused and then we were maybe a third of the way through it. And now we're pretty much almost done. So I'm definitely gonna have this one finish off so that would be really nice. For the Vanilla Mocha Cafe Fine Fragrance Mist, I've got just a tiny bit of progress, not anything crazy, but I love this one. It's really nice and warm and very cozy, especially for the mornings. I'm actually gonna spray it right now because it smells so good. But yeah, not focusing on finishing this one because I, I love it and I wanna keep it, but just gonna use it a little bit more, get a little more progress. 
And then the star of the show for this month has definitely been this pumpkin pecan waffle shower gel for me. And last year, it's so funny because I did not enjoy this at all. This is actually from 2021. When I first got it, I didn't enjoy it. Last year, I tried to make myself enjoy it and I didn't. This year, I'm loving it. It is so yummy, cozy, warm, and like the perfect breakfast morning scent. So I did use up quite a bit here in the last month. The notes are maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar, just to let you know like how sweet and gourmand it is. It smells like maple syrup. It smells so good. So I'm probably gonna try to get this finished off. I'm not gonna be mad if I don't though. And I might even carry this into the winter because I'm just enjoying it so much and I definitely wanna finish it soon. And then I've also been using the Glossier Body Hero uh, Dry Touch Oil Mist for this routine as well. I got a little bit of progress on this one. Honestly, I'm not like focused on finishing this one. I just use it when I use it, which is mostly after I shave my legs. I really love it. Highly recommend this formula. It feels so nice on the body. I wish they'd come out with one that was like a nice scent because this one really doesn't have a scent to it. Um, but I do love it. I really love the formula and I'm just gonna continue using this one. The last item in that routine is the Ariana Grande Mod Vanilla perfume that I have. I probably have like a third left on this perfume. You can't tell because it is just a white perfume bottle. Um, I like this scent. It's very nice. It's like a musky vanilla, but I have to say it does not last whatsoever. It lasts maybe an hour and that's it, which is kind of disappointing to me because her other perfumes last pretty long. So I don't know, maybe it's just like mine, but it just doesn't last long at all and makes me a little disappointed. So I'm just gonna keep working on it because I do love the scent. But yeah, if you guys have that same experience, let me know down below or maybe I just got a dud or something. Okay, next I've got my white pumpkin and chai routine. I've got the pumpkin icing shower gel from Philosophy and then two white pumpkin and chai scents in fine fragrance mist and the lotion. So first I'll update you guys on the pumpkin icing shower gel. I've liked this a lot. It's definitely more of like a simple um, sweet scent. So it's nice when I don't want something crazy. I used this primarily while I was sick. So I got a little bit of progress on it, not a ton, but I do like it a lot. I'm not mad that I'll probably have to carry it over to next year because I really like this formula. It's very nice. The white pumpkin and chai lotion, I'm just gonna be honest, I just used it once today. So I have the tiniest bit of progress. Yeah, I have not used this like at all. I kind of forgot that I had it in the project. Um, I've really been using champagne, apple, and honey. So this one will take a backseat until I finish that one, but I do love it. It's my perfect November scent, especially if it gets cold here again. So I'm gonna keep it in the project and probably try to use it more next month, but I definitely forgot that I had it in the project. Oops. And then we have White Pumpkin and Chai in the Fine Fragrance Mist. This one is from 2020. I think this was the first year that it came back in body care. I do have a little bit of progress here, just, um, I don't know, about a half an inch. I did use this actually a lot, especially after I finished with my sickness because it was super cold here in Houston for about a week. We had like straight 50 degree days and it felt amazing. It even got down to like 40s too. Um, that never happens for us here if you didn't know that. I am definitely living in the wrong state because I love winter weather, but that's beside the point. I was definitely using this a lot that week, so I have a little bit more progress on this one than the other miss but still keeping it in and continuing to use it. And then I've got these two little replica perfume minis here in Autumn Vibes and by the fireplace. Now I used both of these just a tad, if you can see the progress lines here, but I was really not using perfume last month just because it was triggering to my sickness. So I'm gonna try and finish these this month and hopefully I can get them out of my collection. I'm not enjoying either of them, honestly. They're a little too strong for my liking. I don't really love, um, these kinds of scents, I have to say, I really prefer more of like a gourmand scent because these are a little too strong for me. I have asthma and it just triggers it. So I'm gonna continue to finish them, get them out of my collection. Probably not gonna get them again. Okay, next I've got my little Halloween-y uh, body care set. So I've got Vampire Blood and the Shower Gel and the Fine Fragrance Mist. I have a tiny bit of progress on the Fine Fragrance Mist. I was just not reaching for this last month. Um, and then actually Ryan has been using the Vampire Blood Shower Gel, so we've got a ton of progress on this one. From here to here, I think I'm gonna leave it in for him for next month, because he's been loving it. So I'll let him finish this 
off or just keep using it because um, he's really liking it. It's just a nice fresh scent. So he's loving this. But I am gonna take out the Vampire Blood Fine Fragrance Mist just because I'm not using it at all and I don't wanna have any distractions in this project. So I'm gonna take it out. And then we've got Everlasting Magic in the Fine Fragrance Mist and the Body Cream. Um, the mist I used just a tad, if you can see, just a little bit. Um, I'm gonna keep this one in though because I'm really enjoying the scent of it. It's just like a nice, fruity floral kind of scent, so I'm loving that. And then I am gonna leave in the body cream. I did get some good progress from here to here in the last month, so I'm really liking it. I think once I finish off Midnight Amber Glow in the body cream, I'm gonna focus on this one. So I'm liking it a lot. I'm gonna continue using it. And then I also put in Together Weather last month. This is the Foaming Sugar Body Scrub. Honestly, you guys, I kind of hate this scent. It sucks, I'm sorry. The cardamom is overpowering and it makes it smell medicinal. So the notes are blushing breeze, sugared cardamom, and soft cedar. I thought I would love this scent, but the cardamom is way too much. And yeah, it just is not good. So I did get some good progress though from here to here in the last month. I'm gonna keep it in just to try to finish it off and get it out of my collection because I'm not enjoying it at all. Um, <laughs> which is so sad because I love this formula. I just really am not a fan of this scent. So I'm gonna finish this off in the last month, I hope. I'm not gonna cut it open and like scoop out the rest. I am not gonna do that. So I'm probably just gonna try to finish this off and like get rid of it. But yeah, that's together weather in the scrub. And then the last thing that I have to update you guys on is Floriental Brown Sugar from Dossier. I used it probably once. I have the tiniest bit of progress on it. I'm gonna keep it in though because this is one that I reach for around the holidays or for like special events, which we do have a few coming up, of course, with Thanksgiving and stuff, we have some family gatherings. So I'm gonna keep this on hand and keep it in my project, use it up, just because I know I'll reach for it for the holidays. But that is Floriental Brown Sugar and that's it for the update. So right now I'm holding up the seven products that I definitely want to finish before the end of November. That's these two from Champagne, Apple and Honey, the Together Weather, the Midnight Amber Glow, and then all my little mini perfumes. So I'm hoping I can finish this off. I think if I just focus, I can definitely do it. So leave some motivating words for me down below. But I do just wanna say, I hope that you guys are staying safe out there and you know staying healthy. And I wish you guys the best going into the holiday season. I hope that you really enjoy this time with your family or your chosen family, your friends, and everybody that you hold dear. I just wanna say, I hope you have a wonderful holiday season coming up. And I know this is kind of like the best time of year to be a Bath & Body Works enthusiast because we have all these wonderful sales and stuff. But just remember the part of the holiday season that really matters, which is spending that time with your loved ones. So anyways, I just wanted to leave this video off with that message. But thank you so, so much for watching my video. Thank you for sticking it out with me through October while I was sick. I really appreciate it, you guys. There's going to be some really nice, fun stuff coming out in November for you. So I hope you will stay tuned and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,